going on you guys I am back with another Harry Potter video all right the last Harry Potter video I uploaded that's still on my channel is my top five Harry Potter villains and so I thought you know why don't we do the top five Harry Potter heroes for this list I'm going through all the characters and ranking my top five heroes. So without fur further ado, let's get right into it. All right, this guy actually annoyed me when I was a kid, but as I've grown up, he's one of my favorite characters. I mean, honestly, the way Dobby talks in third person, it, it's kind of annoying. But at the same time, although he only appears in Chamber of Secrets, you don't see him again until Deathly Hallows in the movies, he still plays a very big part. He basically stood up to Mr. Malfoy when he threatened to kill Harry in Chamber of Secrets, and he helped Harry throughout Chamber of Secrets, although he... his methods of saving Harry are questionable. Still, he had nothing but good intentions, making his death in Deathly Hallows Part 1 all the more sad. Although he is misunderstood and, mis and everyone thinks that he's a serial killer, at the end of the day, he's really just a nice man that's down on his luck with the death of his best friends Lily and James and Harry being the only family he has left he helps Harry every chance he has giving him advice he got with a fire when he's accused of being a liar and all that helping him in Order of the Phoenix basically going out of his way to help Harry regardless of the risk Sirius was the last bit of family that Harry had and that gave him motivation to take down Voldemort, especially after Sirius' death. Alright, so I had to group these three together because I mean how can you not set how, how can you not have them in the same slot? Harry, Ron, and Hermione are equally important because honestly, they're the main driving force of the series. Harry being the title character Hermione being the smart one, Ron being the red-headed guy, I guess. They still make it through the hard times, and they still back each other up. Even though Ron didn't believe Harry was innocent with the whole Goblet of Fire thing. Still, they found ways to work out their differences when they didn't get along. And ultimately, they were the ones that hunted down and destroyed the Horcruxes, leading to the death of Voldemort. So, that's why I grouped them together, because not one of them is more important over the other, because they're equally important to the story. Where do I even begin? Sure, he did leave Harry with the Dursleys, but it's, it, it's explained in the books that because of the protection spell that Lily, you know, placed on Harry when he was a baby. It would only continue to work if he was living in the environment with someone with Lily's bloodline. In other words, Petunia. And although they treated him badly, Dumbledore and the books in Order of the Phoenix, when they threatened to kick Harry out, he sends them a howler saying remember my last petunia meaning oh yeah you better freaking take care of him or else bad things are gonna happen and he even confronts the dursleys in the books he basically calls them out he calls them out i wanted i, I really want to see that on film i can't because the movie series is over but i want to because calling them out on their bullshit you might as well put sunglasses on that man and he's the ultimate badass and the ultimate hero all right 
how can I not have this man at number one? He starts out as a bad guy, but over time, once you see past it, he was doing the right thing. He risked his life protecting Harry, and he even calls Dumbledore out for the whole thing with Harry being a Horcrux. He says, I thought we were protecting him all this time for her, for Lily. Now you're telling me that you've raised him like a pig for slaughter? Of course he was referring to the fact that he's Lily's son. But still, in a way he wanted Harry to live, to keep Lily's memory alive. He deceived Voldemort. He deceived everyone into thinking he was a bad guy. When all along he was a double agent. I came close to considering him an anti-hero, but at the end of the day, you're only an anti-hero if you're truly on both sides. It's clear to see that after Lily's death, he's no longer on Voldemort's side. And so he's a hero and not an anti-hero. The greatest of them all, even over Dumbledore. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, the first few takes on this, I had a completely different list, but I'm glad I revised it because this is just so much better. I hope y'all are doing well, and until next time, stay awesome everyone, bye.